Step back to 1969 and join the adventure with a classic western that's not your typical dusty trail. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid takes you on a wild journey through the Old West with its mix of humor, surprising twists, and moments that touch your heart. Wondering why this movie still rocks? What lasting qualities make it a forever symbol of the industry? Stay tuned and you might find some answers. But there's more there are funny stories, surprising facts, and moments that might make you tear up. Now here's a question for you. Can you share a personal tale of how this movie has inspired or affected your life? Your experiences could be as interesting as the movie itself. And here's another one. What's your most treasured memory or personal experience connected to this cinematic gem? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Keep the conversation flowing. So get ready because this journey is just starting and you won't want to miss a thing. It's not just about a movie. It's about the moments it creates and the influence it leaves. Stay tuned for more fun, surprising, and maybe a bit of sadness. And remember, we're eager to hear your stories, share them in the comments. This is more than just a movie, it's a shared experience. Now, let the stories begin. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid is a movie appreciated for its portrayal of anti-heroes. While some parts might not appeal to everyone, most of the film offers exciting entertainment, especially when the duo is running from the law. The movie has well done and suspenseful scenes with fitting music and beautiful landscapes that add to the story. The ending leaves a strong impression even though some people might not like the use of picture montages. Overall, it shows how people still like movies about sympathetic outlaw characters, with this one being a good example. Paul Newman and Robert Redford's performances make the film even better, and it keeps you tense as they're chased. There are funny moments like the train robberies that lighten the story, and unexpected choices like using raindrops keep falling on my head that stick with you. Even if you have your own preferences, you can see the movie has its good points like its honest portrayal of history and the chemistry between the actors. In short, it's a classic that still connects with audiences, giving a different view of westerns. The house where Butch Cassidy, the Sundance Kid, and Sandra Ego once lived is now owned only by Sandra. The Sundance Kid wanted to become a Navy pilot, but he couldn't because he was colorblind. The house full of memories was sold and torn down for something new. It shows how things change over time. Their adventures are now just memories. In 1997, Michelle Pfeiffer asked Paul Newman to be in her movie, but he said no. So, Jason Robarts took the part instead. Newman once thought about running for the U.S. Senate in Utah in the 1970s. There's a story about Newman being angry with George Roy Hill for not paying him back, so Newman cut Hill's desk in half. These stories show that Paul Newman was a person with many different sides and experiences. He's not just known for his famous roles in movies like Butch Cassidy and The Sundance Kid. Appearing in the three most acclaimed westerns of its year alongside other notable stars, Butch Cassidy and The Sundance Kid made a mark in the cinematic landscape. Prior to this, he was set to co-star in a production based on a book by Attorney General Robert Kennedy, a project that was in preparation for 20th Century Fox in the early 1960s. Before his acting career, he served in the Navy during World War II as a radio operator in naval torpedo planes, spending three years in the Pacific. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid was not his only significant role, but it certainly stands out among his achievements. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid is a movie from 1969 with a great performance by its main actor. In All the President's Men, he played Bob Woodward, which got him on the American Film Institute's list of top 100 heroes and villains, along with Dustin Hoffman, who played Carl Bernstein. He got many awards during his career, including 10 nominations for the Academy Awards. Eight of these were for Best Actor, one for Best Supporting Actor, and one for Best Picture. His nominations put him with Hollywood's Best, only Jack Nicholson, and Lawrence Olivier got more acting nominations. There was a long break between his nominations in 1968 and 1981, showing how recognition in the movie industry can change. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid is a classic movie known for its performances and lasting influence on cinema. In a fun imitation that reminded people of a famous Demi Moore picture, she was featured on the cover of Alternative Medicine Digest in 1997, with her body painted with pictures of fruits. This playful spoof added a funny twist to the well-known photo. While shooting, he often teased him about being late, even playfully suggesting changing the movie's name to Waiting for Lefty, referencing Redford's left-handedness. This nod to a play from 1935 brought humor to their relationship on set. In Germany, he shares his dubbed voice with Patrick Stewart and Sir Anthony Hopkins, showing his versatility in voice acting. 
These stories give us a peek into the camaraderie and interesting moments behind the scenes of the film. He was a fantastic teacher of acting, especially in improvisation, creating characters, and showing hidden meanings. His parents were Dudley Tying Ross, a journalist, and Catherine Mullen, originally from upstate New York and Oklahoma. Daryl Ravenscroft, famous for being the voice of Tony the Tiger and singing You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch, lent his deep voice to the song in the bank robbing scene. He really understood his characters, giving them depth and subtlety that people everywhere could relate to. His work in entertainment was important and lasting, leaving a strong impression on the industry for many years. Whether through his famous roles or his helpful teachings, he continues to inspire new actors and entertainers. His influence goes beyond just his time, showing us how powerful storytelling and talented performers can be. He brought happiness, laughter, and emotion to so many people, creating a legacy that will always be remembered and appreciated. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, released in 1969, was a big hit. It was the first movie directed by Robert Redford, who later won an Academy Award for it. Redford was also known for being active in social causes. He took part in the famous March on Washington in 1963, along with other famous people like Martin Luther King Jr. and Marlon Brando. In the movie, Redford starred as one of the main characters. He was nominated for an Academy Award for acting many times, from the 1950s to the 2000s. This puts him in a small group of actors who achieved this over several decades. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid is still remembered today. It shows how Redford made a big impact on both movies and society. This was Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, a famous movie from 1969, stars actor Paul Newman, who was well known not only for his roles, but also for his strong support of gun control. Throughout his career, Newman was a big advocate for gun control and was part of Handgun Control Inc., a group that promoted stricter gun laws. This added depth to his character in the film. Newman, who was a father of five, had an interesting experience during the births of his children. While his four sons were born naturally, his daughter had to be delivered by emergency cesarean section. This personal detail gives us a glimpse into Newman's life beyond acting. Director Robert Wise originally thought about casting Newman for the main role in The Sand Pebbles in 1966. However, the part ended up going to Steve McQueen, who got his only Oscar nomination for it. Wise had worked with Newman before on movies like Somebody Up There Likes Me and Until They Sail. Casting decisions like these often influence an actor's career path. In summary, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid not only shows Paul Newman's acting skills, but also highlights his beliefs off screen. The movie gives us a peek into the different sides of the actor, whose personal choices and convictions added depth to his legacy in cinema.